Welcome back to Huchos. Today on Huchos, we'll be unboxing, reviewing, and par testing this. This is the Smart 8 full spectrum LED grow light with smart functionalities, sunrise, sunset, and smart liquid crystal display. Passively cooled grow light from Medic Grow. Okay, so the guys out at Medic Grow have sent me out this. This is the Smart 8 foldable LED grow light, and I'm pretty excited to test this one because there's a bunch of features on it that have really only appeared on really expensive grow lights, and this is quite affordable. So straight up, discreet packaging. <clears throat> so in the box, we've got hangers, daisy chain cord, Australian plug, manual, and the light itself. Let's have a look at this fixture. Now, Medic Grow sent me out recently a beast of a light. That was the Slim Power 2, and it's a greenhouse supplemental light, which put out a heap of par. So I'm really excited to test this light and see what it produces. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to get this in shot. Maybe if I, oh, how good. Okay, so this is obviously a rather large fixture, and I'm really glad that I expanded my grow test area because I'm going to have to max it out straight up for this light. This is the Medic Grow Smart 8. It is an eight bar LED full spectrum grow light with a claimed efficacy of 2.8 micromoles per joule. It is running a total of 2,960 diodes across the eight bars, which are made up of a range of SAN-AM and OSRAM diodes. The OSRAMs being the 660 nanometer diodes. The diodes are powered by two separate drivers, one controlling the full spectrum diodes and one controlling the red diodes. On the fixture, you have a bloom button so you can change the spectrum throughout the grow. The bloom controller toggles the red diodes to a lower state of power for vegetative growth and then ups the power to the diodes for flowering and fruiting. The reason it's called the Smart 8 is because it has a bunch of smart functionality. It has a timer built in with a timer switch which has multiple modes that you can set for the day-night cycle. It also has a dimmer and off switch and all of this is displayed on an LCD panel. The timer actually includes a sunset and sunrise mode where the timer will slowly dim on at the start of the day and dim off at the end of the day. And generally you only see this level of control at the really high price end point. The light is daisy chainable and groups of the light can be controlled through an outside light controller. The light has a really nice build quality. The finishes on the light are fantastic and I'm really interested to see what this light can output. So let's hang up the light above a PAR sensor and test its efficacy. Okay, so the light is rated for a 1.2 by 1.2 or four by four foot area, which is perfect because that is this area. And its hanging height is anywhere above six inches. So I'm actually going to be hanging it at 12 inches plus one for the power sensor. And we'll see what our output is. And I'll put some tape on the bars and we can see how hot they get while I'm testing. And the watt drawer at the wall for the bloom is 735, whereas the watt drawer on the wall for the bloom off is 666.8, so 667. So the light's been on for over an hour now, and we can test how hot this light is getting. All these diodes are passively cooled. The heat is being dissipated through a thermal paste into aluminum heat sinks, which are on the back of the bars and they are quite hot. I wouldn't want to keep my hand on them. So let's have a look at the temperatures. Okay, so on the outside bar, 
I've got a temperature reading of 123 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 50.9 degrees or 51 degrees Celsius. On the inside bar, we've got 124.3 degrees Fahrenheit or 51.3 degrees Celsius. And on the driver enclosure, it's actually not really hot at all. So we've got 105 degrees Fahrenheit and 40 degrees Celsius. So those are the temperature results. Okay, so I've mapped the PAR results and I've got to say this is an impressive light. And surprising as well, because I thought that the bloom functionality would either take away or add to the PAR results, the overall efficacy of those results. So I'm going to start with the bloom on and I'll put the PAR map up here. Now, the average of that area was 1,149. We then times that by the square area and it's 1.2 by 1.2 or four by four foot. And we divide that by the watt draw, which was 735 to get an efficacy of 2.25 micromoles per joule. Now that's a really nice efficacy. However, we turn the bloom off and this is where the two drivers come into play. Only the red diodes are being dimmed at this point. So this is your veg stage and it's got a lower red shift in the spectrum. Here is the PAR map for that. And the average across that PAR map is 1,045. Now we times that by 1.44 the square meters and divide that by the wadraw, which was 667 and we get an efficacy of 2.26. So it actually goes up in its efficacy very slightly. This isn't enough to warrant you running it on veg all the time if you wanted to lower your power consumption, but it's definitely interesting that they're able to keep the efficacy the same across both bloom on and bloom off, which is really cool. It just means you don't have to worry about the bloom button. You can just switch it on and off as you please and you won't have a difference in the efficacy of this light. So that is a really nice efficacy. Now, I don't usually talk about prices in the reviews because they tend to fluctuate and as they're being released, they will have a lower price so that it draws people into their sites. But this is a phenomenally low cost light. I won't be putting numbers on the screen right now, but they are releasing features into a price point that hasn't seen these features before. And that's really exciting. I think this is a fantastic offering from Medigrow and I'm really excited to put it above some plants. I think we can do some really cool stuff with this light and its form factor, its size would be perfect above an IBC a chop and flip hydroponic system that we might look at in the future. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who Chose. Happy hydroponicking. Links in the description for the product. And I'll see you next time on Who Chose. <laughs>